Welcome back guys, it's your boy the Ace back with another Flipper Special. So today we're going to look at MicroPython, which is a lightweight version of Python specifically optimized for microcontrollers. How this might interact with the Flipper Zero you might ask? Well, there's a new FAT file that came out that lets you interact with this bad boy, letting you work with hardware buttons, displays, GPIOs, the work, all without needing to flash custom firmware or risk bricking the device overall. That being said, let's get straight into this bad boy and buckle up, turn up those speakers, and let's go! go, go, go. Right, to help us get started with MicroPython for the Flipper Zero, we're going to be using MP Flipper project on GitHub. Created by Offable, this repository provides everything you need to get started developing the app, playing with some of the example scripts he's given, and so much more. Now, as you can see, it gives us access to various hardware components on the Flipper Zero, like the LEDs, GPIOs, the displays, and everything works natively, so you could just jump straight in developments using Python. Here we can see a few examples that he's provided. Some of it tests the canvas, some of it tests the input. There's even a tic-tac-toe game provided here. So even just using these examples as a baseline, you can get some inspiration as it were and start creating applications for yourself. Now, such inspiration came to me when I first even just saw the logo. Now to me, it looked like the old snake game you find on the Nokia 3330 or 3210, but I wanted it for my Flipper Zero. So I was thinking to myself, how could I get started in even just making this using this Python variant? Now for me, the idea was kind of simple. Use the directional buttons to move the snake around and eventually add a food item and it would try to grow, etc, etc. Now in terms of getting the app, what I would highly recommend is that you head over to the lab dot flipper.net store and then head over to the app store and then from here you can just filter by releases or latest or new updates go to new updates and straight away you can see it right here this U Python. now this kind of is quite new and just dropped and all you need to do from here is really just install it at the moment of recording we're on version 1.4 and as you can see here MicroPython is a version of the popular Python programming language especially tailored for hardware requirements of small microcontrollers like the Flipper Zero, yada yada yada. Now in terms of demo, what I'll show is where I am with the code and how it kind of evolved to what is a quote unquote final code version. So if you go into tools and then go into UPython, You can see sometimes this does crash for some reason. So if we go into tools and hopefully it don't crash, you Python again and yeah, it crashed again. Now we're in the app file of MicroPython. We can just go into open and I'll show you the various stages in which this code kind of evolved. It went to kind of three stages here. So the first stage was finding out how to move across the screen in code. So I started by just coding the basic movement of the snake uh, on the screen so it can follow the boundaries of, of what is kind of a small screen and simply just to use the directional pads here just to move around the screen as a first point of evolving this project as it were. Now stage two of this project took a more complicated turn because I tried to introduce now the kind of fruit that the snake is to interact with. I wasn't able to at first get the directions moving, but getting the snake and the fruit on one screen at this point in the code was quite important. And that's what I wanted to display here. Now stage three of the code, as you can see, I've kind of got the snake moving dynamically across the screen. And it can move directionally. The, the pace of the snake obviously is quite fast, but it's moving as a snake, but it just got a block to block relationship. And if it crashes into the fruit, it goes straight through it for now because that collision detection hasn't been coded in. But 
now it's kind of taking shape into a basic snake based game just using python now in terms of final stage after just a couple of hours just looking at the code and how it could work i kind of got it to here where i managed to put a print title at the top with my name i got the render size of the snake a bit more smaller i've got the fruit and the snake moving and plotting in a more directional way the snake's kind of more freer in terms of space because i had to account for how small this screen size is and i've got collision detection in terms of the wall as well so there's a perimeter around this wall so if i crash the snake into the wall thanks for watching and subscribe to ht of course conclusion so in conclusion developing a game like snake for the flipper zero using the micro python has been an exciting and much educational based journey the flipper zero's capabilities combined with the simplicity of python make it a great platform for experimentation whether you're building games tools or scripts if you're interested in developing your own apps within the flipper zero i would highly recommend checking mp flipper project on github going to the app store within flipper and downloading it direct now micro python is easy to learn and with just a little bit of coding knowledge you can get quite a lot out of this powerful device thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and enjoy this video let me know in the comments below what projects you're working on and stay safe in the cyberspace and peace out